Hey guys, it's Jess from Madden Crafts. When I was at Creativation last month, Plaid gave me one of their wood burning tools to try out. Quick disclaimer, I was not paid to create this video, but I am a Plaid ambassador, so I did get the kit for free. The kit comes with several different tips, a stand, and the tool itself, which has several different heat settings. I've never used a wood burning tool before, so I was excited to experiment with it. I wanted to try burning some leopard spots into a $1 craft wood frame, so I started by sketching out some rough spots using an online picture for reference. I plugged in the wood burning tool, set it to the highest heat setting, and let it warm up. Be very careful with this tool, guys. The metal gets extremely hot. I used the calligraphy tip to color in all my spots. The longer you hold the tool in one place, the darker the wood burns. And the wood is actually burning, so you'll see a little bit of smoke coming off the wood. It's going to smell up your house a little bit, so maybe open up a window. When I was finished burning my leopard spots, I used a wipe-on stain cloth to add some color to the wood. Be sure to use a plastic glove. You can use regular stain if you already have some at home. But for a small project like this, this is the easiest and fastest way to add some color to raw wood. Since the center of leopard spots are often a darker color, I used a stain pen to color in a few of the larger spots. Links for everything I used in this post are in the description below. Once the stain had dried, I added in a quick printable, but you could use this frame for photos as well. This project was a really fun introduction to my new wood burning tool and it's something even beginners can do. I'm excited to try the tool out on some other projects. What should I try next? Let me know in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up if you learned something new. Subscribe to this channel if you aren't already. Visit me on my blog, Man and Crafts, and thanks so much for watching. Bye!